Uh, the mass really turned it up to speed in the transitional game. And, um, I told uh, Tootie and Red afterwards that that wasn't a 3 nothing game. So they are getting ready to they have a heck of a challenge tomorrow night playing out in the game. Talk a little bit about what you saw in the underclass in today's game. Uh, they were, they, they've been getting better every, every week. It's not like things are all getting better. I have a and Alexi Jack. You know, I think him and the guy and, and Reed and a lot of nights so established uh, distinguishes themselves. And that's what I thought Carrie was playing. I thought our first time was good early and they just kind of faded away. They turned pucks over and uh, they got a little bit uh, too offensive minded for me. But they weren't nearly as visible in the second and third period as they were. So, I'm going to ask you this, but every game it seems like you're winning a lot of face-offs. Yeah. Tonight you won 39, only lost 14. Yeah. What do you guys have been working on face-offs? What's yeah. up with the team with face-offs? Has that been a big thing that you've been preaching? Because it seems like every team really dominating face -offs. Yeah, we, we focus on it. I think, uh, you know, Sebastian LaPlante was in the business world before he came here, and he said what gets emphasized gets done in the business world, and that face-offs, I'm not going to go into what we do, but we've made that a priority in terms of bonding our sentiment with, I feel, the resources to to have success when it pays us. And you feel like that sets up a lot of your chances that way? I feel like that's helped turn it around a little bit? I think, that, I think it, it clearly sets up possessions, right? The game's about possession. What you do with it off the possession is, you know, that's the mystery behind the win. But I think, uh, you know, you always say as a coach, it's always a, a hockey game, a one-on-one -on -one battle, and it usually starts out with face. So if you can be successful there, then you're kind of building some of those those um, quality you want. Talk yeah. about moving him up to the second line and then goes down to the fourth. What were you trying to accomplish with um, that? Those two lines were kind of fight for some sort of an identity. I mean, you look at it on paper and, uh, you know, you got you know, Quayle and Daniels and Verma looks like a really good line, but they weren't getting points, they weren't really, they weren't generating enough to justify their, their existence together, so Pim has been getting better every week, and he just, he's one of those guys like, like Wade McLeod, he's a hockey player, doesn't get the points Wade gets, but he's around the puck all the time, and he's strong, and he's on, so we thought that if we could flip them, um, it would just breathe some life into both units, and I thought Daniels was our best player by far, and I just was offensively. He had the puck a lot, he drove the net twice, he had an opportunity to score a few goals. He was terrific, so at least from one end of it, he was good. I didn't really notice Quail or Vermish. I noticed, obviously, uh, uh, Rain. But I didn't see that too much. Yeah, I thought he was steady, and I thought the first you know, the first part of the game, he didn't get tested a lot. Sometimes those are real tough for goalie. But I thought UMass really kept them, particularly in the second period, and they were on a point pretty hard in the third. Um, and he was good. Because, you know, when, there's, when you don't, when the goalie doesn't get a lot of, like, grade-A chances early in the game, sometimes they can get a little cold. I thought tonight he was shot uh, in all three periods. Um, but I thought their guy was really good, too, by the way. I thought he was true. Defense in front of him has been really good as well. Lots of good back checking players getting back on the yeah. play, deflecting a lot of shots. Can you speak to the defensive play, which has been part of your game all year long? I think our, our, our back checkers have gotten more intelligent about how they're coming back. You always tell guys to go back on and stop in the house and that stuff. But they got to be able to pick people up too, and that communication is great. And um, they've kind of figured it out. Like, I, Hey, we got we got a young team. UMass has got a young team. Some guys pick things up quickly, and some guys don't. Um, I thought UMass's speed, in the transitional game, was as good as I've seen all year. I mean, they get up the ice real quick, and um, I was a little bit worried about that going into the game. And um, they they demonstrated that tonight. They had some, I think they had some, they had some quality chances off the rush, not the from the goals. I think they did a pretty decent job coming back, but they still were able to penetrate and get chances.